Warning, the following may be real or fake, to entertain or to inform, based on real events or thought up. This is a confession and a show. Hello everyone, it is Wednesday, June 3rd, 2015, for me here in Texas. I have one more day of school left, I'll be done with sophomore year, and then I get a week off. Head to summer school. I hope everyone's had a great year, whether you're in school, college, or whether you're, you know, just free as an adult. You get to, you know, your work, apartment, house, you're getting married, I don't know, you're having kids. Congrats to everyone out there for a great school year. This is the Mahdi Podcast. Now, most of you people know that I do another podcast on my channel called the Alexis Podcast. And I know podcasts, I know you can't even download these yet, but I make them to be podcasts. So one day, maybe I can convert them to files if I wanted to. But I, I just like considering it podcasts. So I, I don't take five minutes to talk. It takes me a while. And uh, this is just, well, you heard the intro. This is where I'm going to tell you my story. This may be my story. This may have never happened. This is going to be a series of events. From the beginning to the end. I'm not going to reveal everything. It is a long story. It is a rich story. It is a, it's a beautiful, sad, crazy story, if you will. The story begins back in the year... 2013 we'll start in September I will tell you the truth whether or not any of this was true or not when we get to the final episode I'm gonna break it down to bits it's a long story so I'll tell you this 2015 now we're going back to 2013 September freshman year the beginning of freshman year I was in guitar. My seventh period was... Guitar wasn't seventh, excuse me. Sixth period. I'm already forgetting my way. Sixth period was guitar. Uh, of course, freshman, man, you're going to act crazy. You're going to act stupid. You're going to act like a little shit. You're going to act like you run the whole damn place, but yet you don't. You got out of that uh, that feeling after eighth grade where you're the top dog in middle school. Oh, you think it's so cool. Ooh, you're the top dog, but you get there... You're just a little fish. Sophomore, maybe, maybe you're, maybe you're, you're, you're just, you're not even bigger than a fish in sophomore. And junior, you're possibly, you're not a shark yet. You're a dolphin when you're a junior, I guess, or sophomore. But still, I was in guitar. Now, I'm not going to reveal the full name of the person who uh, this podcast is about, I'll say is Mari. Mari, that's her name. M-A-R-I, Mari Bell, short Mari. Now, that's out of respect. I'm not going to give her full name away. not going to do anything of talking except my story on how my eyes saw her. So, of course, guitar started and everything. And a couple months, you know, school starts at the end of August and September. And then around October time, I, before October, I started to notice, you know, I was in just my classroom and, you know, we do test every week or so and we're um, just practicing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, all that, you know, the, the basics of first year guitar. Of course, we're just learning. And um, sadly, it was no Pink Floyd type of guitar and any of that. It was more classical, which, uh, you know, it's okay. I, I had a steel string. You needed a, what it was, a nylon string? I don't remember. Uh, so you weren't supposed to have steel string, but I had anyway. I had two friends in there, man. Two of my best buddies ever. For the, that, the, the, they made my year. That just made it amazing. Johnny Rodriguez. There's a bunch of Johnny Rodriguez. I'm Daniel Rodriguez. I, I there's a lot of them. So don't worry. There's a billion in the world. You'll never find him. Also Wesley, my friend Wesley, man. Those were my two friends, who I just think are amazing. Me and Johnny have kind of lost touch. We were never the the closest. Like oh my gosh. 
let's hang out. Uh, you know, he had his friends. He had his pack. I wasn't really truly, like, a pack of his. It was just, you know, that guy in the classroom who sees him or maybe in the hallway. Hey, Johnny, what's up? That type of thing. It was never, you know, hey, you know, let's go hang out after school type of thing. But uh, I wish we could have been a little bit more closer. Not, like, gay-wise. I'm saying just as friends. But uh, I miss Johnny. He's a very good very good friend and i always made fun of him for working at cc's pizza i'm always gonna remember that he's a, he's a he's a great guy great guy um sad what happened to him he's still alive and everything it's just he didn't finish school and uh you know bless him on his journey he doesn't believe in god but still god bless him for everything he's a very very fun guy wesley himself man uh he's a guy i told all my stories to i'm the one who said hey i like this girl and he's the one who kept the secrets now let's begin Maddie, I guess, has been in the classroom. Wow. I, I guess she was there day one. I didn't notice her. And I know that sounds bad. Ooh, you like her and all, but you didn't notice her. It's because I really didn't pay attention in guitar class around the area. I only knew Wesley. I knew Johnny. I knew a few others, but I wasn't, like, looking around the room. Who is this mysterious person? Until the day, I believe, I was tuning my guitar or something. I always talked shit in guitar. I always did. There was Emmanuel Garcia. And Emmanuel and I used to be uh, good friends. Not great, but... He's changed over middle school or uh, over high school. I, I knew him since sixth grade, man. He he's he, he was he's a good guy. He he really was, and he, he changed. And I, I I wish no harm for Emmanuel. He's changed, and you know, hey, that's his thing. I wish we could still be friends. It's just that I I've changed, also, and we've changed through high school and over the years. And so Emmanuel, he he's a good guy. He's a good guy. I really like him. He was he was very fun um he taught me a lot of things for through music and yeah i always just used to talk shit to him just for fun but it made me look childish because Madi was a junior at the time i was a freshman now let's get right to the story now about Madi. we're here for Madi. so the first time i saw her was around September, the beginning, the middle. I don't remember, actually. I, I wish I was one of those where, oh, the first day I saw her, it was this day. But I don't, honestly. I saw her, and that was the moment where, I don't know, my, I, I, it's hard to explain. My, how to explain it? My, everything just froze. Everything in the room, everyone disappeared, and it was just her. And I know that sounds like a movie. I know I'm going a little over dramatic, but I'm not lying. It literally happened like a movie where the first time I saw her, everything just froze. Everything just stopped. And I stared at her. And I I had a feeling like, why haven't I noticed this person? And she sits at the wall around the corner. And I was like, why haven't I noticed this person who's been here all along? I've wasted a month and a half, two months. I wow i didn't find out she was a junior until way later on that's like episode three or four or something but you know i thought oh wow you know and she was she was i mean she was i'm a, I'm a chubby guy last year she was not chubby she's not fat or nothing she's beautiful she's the perfect she, perfect way you can't you can't you, she's perfection in, in the ways for me and either way she was you know i thought to myself oh i go talk to her you know become friends with her She'll never deny me, blah, blah, blah. I thought I was good and everything. I'm fresh. I mean, ah, you know, ah, you know, we're here. Let's do this. Let's be friends, blah, blah, blah. I didn't have that confidence, though, where in middle school, I used to be a little shit, man, where I used to go up to girls, and I was just kidding around, and they were eighth grade. I was sixth grade, seventh, and all. I was like, hey, let's go out on a date tomorrow. I was acting like one of those, and I was like, shit, look how stupid I looked back then. And I still look stupid nowadays, and in five years, I'm going to be like, shit, three years ago, I looked stupid, man, so excuse me for the language but yes they are. we uh, guys do stupid things i like to horse play around i don't like to be mature i like to be immature sometimes now when the time comes to be mature you may catch me there you may not we uh we don't know but yeah the first time i saw her man and then it lead all the way in just the whole year where i didn't know what to do i was always scared not to go up to her i wanted to go up to her every day i fought in my head, it was a battle. Should I go talk to her? Should I not? Maybe tomorrow. Oh, the next day. Maybe the next day. Oh, now the next day. I always delayed it and delayed it until it was the final day of school. And now, 
well, now it is the final day of school tomorrow, and it, that means it's going to mark that one year, which, of course, it's already, it's already been over a year since I've liked it. So it's going to mark a year where I fought so hard to whether I would go or not up to her and say hi, just to say hi. Now, the first talk, we had a talk. It was the first time and the last time we ever talked. I don't remember what, when, November, October, around there. I don't know if I bumped into her. It was the end of class, the last few minutes. Everyone already left the classroom. They put up. I came back and I bumped into her or something like that. I don't, I don't remember the specifics. And I wish I did. you think the only time I talked to her, I'd remember every single thing. But I, I just didn't. I'm not going to tell you what I said, but it's probably something foolish. Her, she just smiled. And she's one of those where I, a lot of people do it. But girls just where they look up and smile at you when they're talking to you and they're listening to you. They're paying attention. And it's just one of those where she's giving you attention. And she's just one of those nice people. She's one of those where you're like... Oh, have you heard of this girl? Oh, yeah, Madi. Oh, no, she's a dick. No, no one's ever done that before. She's one of those where she's nice. She's she'll listen to you. She'll hear you out. She'll give you her opinion. She'll you know she'll she'll help you out. She's one of those nice people um, where you can't say nothing wrong about her. She's not an evil person. She's not a bad person. I don't think she she I never heard her curse a lot. I'm pretty sure she does. Everyone curses, man, but not like she has a potty mouth or anything. So she's she's a great person to be around. She's one of those where you want to be around her. You want to associate with her. You don't want to not associate with her and be like with Johnny or Wesley like I was. But um, the first talk, yeah, it lasted less than a minute, most likely. And I'm pretty sure I looked stupid. My hair probably looked like shit. I probably looked ugly. I was probably sweaty. And I was probably just fat. And I, I didn't I didn't know at the time. Because at the time I was still debating whether, you know, I, not debating. I liked her. But I wasn't like boom, 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 boom until every single day. This was the only girl ever in my whole entire life. So far of 17 years. And I know. Let's not get into that. Oh, you're young thing. Young is 10 years old, young is 8 years old, young is 5, young is 12, young is 13. Yes, if you die 50, that's young. You have a long time to live. You who 40 right now, 30, 50, 60, that's still young. Wait till you're 95, son. Anyway. <sighs> Getting a little bit into it. So my first talk it went okay, I guess. Every day I saw her, she was one of those. And I see her in the hallway. Still to this day. Now that she's a senior, but now let's go back to 2013, junior. My heart kept on beating fast, rapidly every time I saw her. Just the thought was my heart beat fast. I couldn't move. I just couldn't. It was a very difficult time for me. And again, every day just debating, hey, should I go talk to her now? Because you don't want to mess stuff up you, you have to have a good impression but then again i was a little shit i was always hey uh, blah, 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 and guitar hey man fight me all that and of course i was kidding with him man you know everything i was like yeah blah, blah, blah. and it was just like oh, i should have thought and i should have acted better i guess is the word more mature but uh i just uh i can't control sometimes it's just, you want to be crazy, you want to act crazy, you want to, you you act like, I'm going to be normal, I'm going to be chill today, yeah, I'm going to be chill. It's not easy for me to be chill, I have ADHD, so I'm going to be like, I'm going to be crazy if I want to be crazy type of thing, you know? So, that's my rule, and I try to always bend it to be where, you know what, I'm just going to be chill, and then two minutes later, I'm bored, I'm going to go crazy. So, just go crazy, act crazy, but the, uh, the, the, the I'm, I'm kind of fast forwarding a little, but the time where summer began, school's over, and I thought to myself, wow, she's going to be a senior next year. Isn't she amazing? I mean, we're still cool. I mean, we only talked one time, and that was like seven months before school ended, and that was it. She still, there was a moment, there was a moment four, five, six times, I don't know, during the year where I looked at her from my chair. And she looked at me, and I smiled at her. 
And I wasn't smiling to be a creep. I wasn't smiling. I don't know what she was thinking through her head. Now thinking about it, she probably thought that I was a creep smiling at her. But she smiled back. But it wasn't that type of smile where, okay, let me just smile back at you. You're, why are you smiling? It was one of those where it was weird and silly and awkward. But yet it was fun and I had an amazing time doing it. It was it happened daily for a while. Not for a while. We just like one, two, like Monday, Tuesday. And I think I did a Friday or something. It was something like that where I looked at her and I smiled. I don't know why. I just, I automatically did it. I couldn't control myself. I she, I wasn't like staring at her, and I kind of actually wish I did stare at her in freshman year. I should have done that, but well, no, I can't. But she stared at me and smiled, and it was like a three, four second stare. But we just nodded heads, and she smiled, and she had bangs. Like she, she had the curly hair, and then she did the bangs, and she looked great every day. There was not one day where she didn't look, you know great she looked great all the time she never looked bad i'm saying she every day was just it was something so yeah there was a connection and it wasn't just i felt a connection i felt there was something there and she could deny it but you have to admit if you were in my body and you could feel that connection i'm not talking about bone or anything i'm talking about a feeling that there was magic between us. There was something in that that stare and to me and her. And there was something there. There was a spark. One second it lasted, but it was there. I felt it. That's why I, I clinched on because I was like, you know what? And I, I, that didn't tell me like, oh man, I should pursue her. I've always liked her. Once I saw her the first time I laid my eyes and to now, yeah, there were signs. They were like, okay. And then I never... I never talked to her again after that. And then the summer came and I went to summer school last year. And imagine I'm thinking I never caught her full name. I never knew her name was, well, her first name starts with a C. That's all I'll say. But I never knew it was Madi. Like I was to call someone called Madi. And I was like, why are they calling her Madi? Your name's this. And I always thought to myself, I never caught her full name. I never really talked to her. We wouldn't be considered friends. I didn't get anything out of her. I didn't talk. I should have done stuff. And now I'm in summer school and I have to wait two and a half, three months to go back to school. I doubt I'll have a class with her. And sad enough, I, I never had a class. This year, sophomore year, when she's a senior, I never had a class with her. Just a class next to her. But that's later episodes. So here we are in summer. And I text my friend Taylor, who also was in guitar. And I said, hey, man. You know, you know, like school's coming up soon, blah, blah, blah. Hey, can I tell you a crush, a girl I liked? You know, real, real, I liked her a lot, and she was in our guitar class. He was like, who? And I said, well, the C, the, her name starts with a C. And um, I don't, I don't want to give it full weight because I don't want her to, like, I, I doubt she'll ever even know about this. But I, I'm, out of respect, I'm respecting it. I'm not going to give away everything. So, her name, and, yeah, he said, my ex, and I was like, what? You dated her and everything? And yeah, he said, like, he dated her in, like, February and March. That's why they were always together sitting next to each other. I was like, what? It's crazy, man. So, that was crazy. That really shocked me. And I was kind of sad, too, in a way, because I was like, that's not, you know, I was like, oh, you know, how was she, blah, 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 and he's okay, yeah, it's okay. Oh, uh, yeah, she broke up with me or something, and I was like, damn, you know, like, I could have done, so I could have, you should have introduced me and all that, but I, 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 you know, only Wesley knew that I liked her at the time, when school was in. Now, also, there were little moments when I passed her by the locker, um, for guitar. I'm not saying like those little moments say anything that she liked me or anything, but I'm saying those were just moments where I was near her and I felt good. I felt alive. I felt like I could be myself in some sort of way when I'm near her that she would understand. So yeah. So I talked to, uh, Taylor and everything in the summer and everything. And yeah, basically said, yeah, she's my ex and all that. And so, looks like they didn't work out. They only lasted like 
a month or something, I guess. But he's a freshman. He's a sophomore now with me. He was in my class, and he was a freshman. And he's a tall guy. He's a tall mofo, man. You think he's a junior or something last year. And literally, she was a junior dating a freshman. Nothing wrong with that. Junior and freshman. But I was thinking to myself, I'm a freshman. She could be dating me. What the heck? I should have... She, apparently that doesn't matter and she's 18 now and I'm 17 she was born like 10 months before me I was born January you do the math 10 months before um, but 1997 I was born 1998 January 1998 she was born 1997 so I was thinking to myself damn I'm more clo- I'm older than Taylor too by a couple months so I was thinking to myself I could have I'm her age group around her age group when she was 17 and junior year I was 16 so yeah it was uh I just and then summer you know Taylor he was gonna be my wingman that's where we're gonna lead into episode two soon where he became my wingman but uh that's where I think I'm gonna leave off in a couple minutes I think this is good for an episode one which is titled love at first sight Again, summer came, and then school was about to begin. I got a few, just a few hints at what she was like, and she sounded extraordinary, amazing. Again, she's just one of those where you just can't take your eyes off. You you say that, you know, I don't, I, I don't even know. I'm losing my words just thinking about it. I returned to school for sophomore year at my high school. And there she is. Over the past, you know, Taylor's my wingman. And this is where episode two will begin. I'm going to leave you guys in a minute. But I like to write letters. I didn't go up to her in person. But imagine the last time you talked to her was October 2013. And she's a mystery to you. You go all of freshman year, you go all of summer, not knowing what she's doing, how she's doing, her full, you know, she's a mystery. And then you come back to school, and then a few months even in there, you still don't know much about her. She's a mystery still. And you just can't go up to her yet. You try to, you try to get her number or something. Like Taylor, he's my inside man. He was basically like, hey, can you text her for me? And I basically, that's where he said, Hey, there's this, you know, guy who likes you from guitar last year. His name's Daniel. And she was like, Daniel who? And there's, I guess she knows like three or four Daniels. And he's like, the guy from guitar last year. And she was like, oh. Okay. Well. Just like, uh. So I was kind of like, oh. Um. Okay. And then uh, I guess we got to do something different now. So that's where the letters begin, and that's where episode two also will talk more about the letters. I'm a letter guy. I like writing letters. It's just, to, uh, to some girls I know it's romantic too, actually. some the guy I got their opinions on it. It's romantic. Oh, and some are like, that's creepy. And you know what? I just, I'm going to do what makes me happy. You know, I'm not going to be like, I'm not going to force myself to talk. I will, I wanted to talk to her one day. You'll learn in your future episodes what actually happens, but. It gets more juicy, let me tell you that. It's not the boring love story overall. It involves... A sneak peek involves... Um, it's it's a crazy story is what I'm saying. It involves the law, which I'll get into later. And it's, it's really interesting, but... Yeah. Return. He's my wingman, and I want to write letters to her and blah, blah, blah. Say, oh, your eye, her eyes, her nose, her... Hair, her smile, her teeth, her ears, her arms, legs. She has great legs. She's a runner. Um, just over, she's track and field. She's a junior. And she, junior track, I mean, not like, she was already a senior right now. So, And in two days, she graduates. And here I am. Alone. But you'll hear about more of that. Uh, you'll hear more of that in episode two, episode three, and I'll, I'll update you guys very soon. I'd like to thank all of you for being here for the full twenty-five minutes, letting me tell you my 
my story. I'll see you for the next episode whenever that is. Share this video. Comment down below. Let me know what do you think. We just jumped from September 2013 to August 2014. Until next time, I hope all of you have a splendid time. Have a great summer, guys. And go talk to the ones you love. Don't be afraid. We're only here for a short time. It's kind of awkward. When I found out she was a junior, I was like, oh, well. Oh, okay. I always remember Wesley, man. We were in the locker room, and he was going to tease me. He, he, he said, oh, I'm going to tell her. I'm going to tell her you like her. He was like, hey, you know, I want to say, Marty. hey, Marty. She was like, yeah. And he was like, he looked at me and he smiled. And I was, because my locker was like two lockers away from her. And on the floor, so, you know, she bent down and everything. I get a little excited. Anyway, um, I was there and she was there and he was there and everyone else left. And he was like, hey, Marty, guess what? And Wesley's a junior too at the time. He's a senior and they're senior. They're both seniors now. But now he was like, I like your shirt. Oh, thank you type of thing. And I was like, oh, thank God. Oh. So just beautiful moments like that where I'm never going to forget it. They were just fun. They were scary and they were living life. It was just something different for me and it gave me experience and gave me thoughts. And it's a freshman highlight. And then now going to sophomore, well, I'll see you for the next one, guys. Peace and love, my friends.